I didn't like chemistry in high school actually. And then when I went to college, when I got to the more senior level classes, I took an inorganic chemistry class and I loved it. I just, it clicked at that moment. We have two of our professors uh, receive a National Science Foundation Early Career Award. My first reaction was, wow because I know how special this is, and I know how competitive they are, how cutting edge the type of research that these uh, faculty are uh, proposing. But there was a moment in the lab where we were trying to figure out what this protein was, and so I had you know, made them, um, and I was in the lab by myself, and I, I kind of did a pipetting thing, and it, it, it fluoresced. And I was not expecting to have succeeded because I'd been trying for months. So I like when my students for the first time, I don't tell them exactly what to expect. I let them try to kind of recreate that, that exciting moment. My research uh, is about the study of uh, complex systems. So essentially complex systems is when you have several interacting components. So my research is trying to find universal patterns that occur when you have uh, several agents of this kind and you try to understand what variables or what makes them uh, behave a certain way collectively. We are extremely excited about this uh, award here in the Weizmann School of Arts and Sciences. First of all it means a recognition to the quality of our faculty especially our younger faculty meaning that it's going to have a tremendous projection into the future but also because of the financial support that it represents not only for our faculty but also for the students who will be involved in the research of the faculty and that's something that will stay with these students for the rest of their life these hands-on experiences these kind of things they can put in the resume that they work in something that was founded by the National Science Foundation. I think what excites me about my research is the ability to discover new things um, and the challenge of not knowing what I'm going to discover. And I think that having the students involved at this level, I think being uh, able to educate new students into kind of taking a problem as a challenge and not you know, knowing whether or not you're going to solve it in the time that you're spending in the lab. Um, but being part of a team is, is really a nice thing. So I think it's very exciting for them and for me to, to be able to train them and to witness their development as well. So in my case, I want to understand uh, s some patterns in some complex systems. And to simplify uh, the system in such a way that I understand it very well. Okay? And I understand it in the simplest uh, terms possible then you can teach it and you can communicate it to students. And you know, at the end of the day, it just becomes, if you have some really good principles, some universal principle, it just becomes you know, part of, of the world and we don't, we see it as just you know, something that has been there forever. And the fact that they're getting that level of maturity in their own thinking about how to further their own careers shows that exactly we're getting people who are awarded at the very top in their career at this stage of their lives. Therefore, for me, it was like, we are extremely lucky, but we need to keep working to keep recruiting faculty like this who will benefit the Weizmann School of Arts and Sciences as nobody else has seen in the past.